And now, story time with Little McGriddle. Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to day 6 of 12 Days of Christmas with me, Little McGriddle. Today I am going to be reading the story, Santa's Noisy Night. Now, this book was given to me by uh, a, a, a lady named Beth from the Big Sister Big Brother program, who I used to go out and do really fun activities with when I was younger. And uh, she gave me this book because she thought that I was really good at reading it and because of the voices I did when, when I read it with her. And it, it, she left a little note in it. It says, to my dear little sister, Chelsea, you read this book so well, I thought you should have it. From Big Sister Beth, Merry Christmas. That's, that's really nice. I mean, I had, I had such a good time with her, but I see her every now and again, but, um... I, I had a lot of fun hanging out with her and doing all the crazy fun things that I did. So, um, I'm going to get started with uh, reading this book. Well, I hope you guys like it. Santa's Noisy Night It was Christmas Eve and Santa was feeling jolly. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Santa sang, sang, sorry, bleh, sang Santa noisily as he loaded the toys into the sleigh. Shh, Santa, whispered the reindeer. You have to be quiet tonight or you'll wake the children. I'll try to, said Santa, but I do like singing. There he is, talking with the reindeer. So over the earth they flew towards the first house. Santa was so excited that he forgot to land on the roof and ended up in the front yard instead. Silly Santa. Dear me, dear me, dear me, roared Santa, spying a friendly cat. Merry Christmas, cat. Do you think they'll mind if I use the back door? The cat waved her tail in the air. Santa, she whispered. They won't mind, but you mustn't wake the children. Of course I won't, said Santa, jumping out of the sleigh. And oh, that's the reindeer. It's him talking to the cat. Oh, 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 oops, cried Santa, sliding on a patch of ice and crashing to the ground. Santa, whispered the snowman, you mustn't wake the children. Sorry, said Santa, picking up his presents and bouncing indoors. But Christmas is my favorite time of year. When he reached the Christmas tree, Santa stopped bouncing and pulled some presents out of his sack. There he is, pulling presents out. Yay! One was a jack-in-the-box hat, which burst open. Santa jumped in surprise. Hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee, <laughs> laughed Santa, clapping his hands. Shh, Santa, whispered the family's dog. You mustn't wake the children. No, we mustn't wake the children, agreed Santa. He put his finger to his lips and crept towards the fireplace to fill the stockings. Oh my god, my hands are so cold, I cannot turn the pages fast enough. I'm sorry, guys. But he didn't notice the tinsel on the floor until it was too late. Santa tripped and went bumpity-bumpity-bump across the room, landing on a roller skate. Toys flew everywhere as he skidded across the carpet and fell head first into the fireplace. Oh my. Uh, Oh, sneezed Santa, rubbing the soot from his nose. Shh, Santa, said the kitten sleepily from an armchair by the hearth. You mustn't wake the children. Yes, we must be quiet, Santa whispered, scrambling to his feet. Look. Santa picked up his sack and hurried back to his sleigh, for there were many more places to go before Christmas Day. Finally, they visited the last house, and Santa's sack was empty. Yeah, way to go! Now, 
not sponsored by Tim Hortons. <laughs> Santa rubbed his eyes sleepily and called, Home reindeer! And with a toss of their heads and a jingle of bells, the reindeer leapt into the sky. Ho, 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 shouted Santa loudly. Here we are, home at last. I know, I know, he added softly. We mustn't wake the children. Could they really possibly be awakened from hearing him all the way from the North Pole? Uh, I don't know. It had been a busy night and Santa felt very tired. He made himself a cup of hot cocoa, put on his slippers, lay back in his armchair, and fell fast asleep. Oh, look at us. Oh, he fell asleep. Snored Santa. Munch, 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 crunched the reindeer as they ate their supper. Shh, squeaked Santa's little mouse. You mustn't wake Santa! And that is it. That was Santa's noisy night. I hope you guys actually enjoyed watching this video. I, uh, I liked reading the book. It's my favorite book. I've, I read it every Christmas, and I've had it ever since my big sister Beth gave it to me, and, uh, yeah, I love that story. I, I love it a lot. But, uh, thank you guys for so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, give that like button a slap, and, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Stay awesome. See you guys later. Bye!